Hello, dear respected students. Today's our lecture uh, will belongs to syndrome of consolidation of lung tissue. That's a very large syndrome and uh, maybe it may present in uh, many uh, different kinds of disorders. Let's discuss, uh, start discussing from normal physiology anatomy because uh, now we'll uh, uh, go into the pathology of um, lung tissue and we should remember what does it mean lung tissue. The main function of lung is uh, gas exchange you remember and also bronchi like pipes uh, serve only as air conductors uh, gas exchange does not occur in them terminal bronchioles uh, give rise to several orders of respiratory bronchioles differing in that pulmonary vesicles or alveoli already pierce on their will from each respiratory bronchial there are alveolar passages that end in alveolar sacs the wall of wall of each of them is surrounded by a dense network of blood capillaries gas exchange take place through the wall of alveoli uh, respiratory bronchioles, alveolar passages and alveolar sacs with alveoli form a single alveolar tree or respiratory parenchyma of the lung and the listed structure originating from terminal bronchial and capable of participating in gas exchange form a functional anatomical unit of lung, the sinus. SNI are separated by a thin layer of connective tissue and about 12 to 18 SNI form a pulmonary lobule. Alveoli are rounded formation with a diameter of 200 to 300 microns, linked with squamous epithelium and surrounded by a dense network of pulmonary capillaries. In the human lung, there are 300 to 500 million alveoli with a total surface area of up to 150 uh, square meters. The main number of alveoli is located on the per uh, periphery of pulmonary lobes. So on subpleural location, the central part of the lobes are occupied by the bronchi. The wall of alveoli is made up two types of cells, type 1 alveolocytes and type 2 alveolocytes. Type 1 alveolocytes are occupy uh, 95 to 97% of the surface of area of alveoli and uh, are, they are uh, very sensitive to toxic substances. Type 2 alveolocytes, uh, in spite of uh, they cover only 2 to 5 uh, percent, uh, percent of alveoli area, they have, uh, uh, they can produce very important substance, uh, we call this substance a surfactant, Surf surfactant prevents the collapse of walls of alveoli, uh, especially when uh, you exhale, uh, has a bactericidical, bactericidical effects and stimulates the activity of alveolar macrophages. The thin space between the alveoli, we call the interstitial tissue, it's filled with pulmonary capillaries and connective tissue. Uh, this uh, uh, tissue, uh, uh, content of this tissue, there are fibroblasts, fibrocytes, macrophages, mast cells, lymph lymphocytes, and granulocytes. In the thinnest area, uh, the flattened part of type 1 alveolar cells and endothelial cells are separated only by a common merged uh, or common uh, much basement membrane. Therefore, the barrier between the lumen of alveoli and the capillary has a minimum thickness, which ensures efficient gas exchange between air and blood. Also, you should remember cones in three alveolar pores with a diameter of 10 to 15 microns uh, and uh, which connect the alveoli well and uh, through these pores in pathological condition uh, inflammatory exudate from the alveoli can quickly spread to the neighboring one uh, capturing a segment or whole lobe of the lungs the spread of exudate can only stop by pleura Movement of blood in pulmonary capillaries occurs continuously. Gas exchange is carried out continuously at any time uh, of inhalation or exhalation. Hyperventilation or holding the breath 
almost instantly leads to a change in concentration of uh, intraalveolar gases passing through narrow pulmonary capillaries RBC lineup in a column. This increases the contact area and increases the efficiency of gas exchange. And you should remember gas exchange is carried out by passive diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide uh, along concentration gradient and uh, diffusion of CO2 and uh, O2. They are not uh, dependent from each other. They are in there is a independent process. In healthy people with calm breathing RBC are completely saturated with oxygen passing through only one three of the capillary that uh, encir uh, encircles the LVLS. Uh, here is scheme of gas exchange uh, because of concentration gradient you see again and uh, let's uh, start discussing syndrome of consolidation syndrome of consolidation of lung tissue all factors that reduce the airiness of lung tissue resi uh, result in uh, con consolidation of lung tissue and uh, a sense of the lung tissue consolidation syndrome is that when airiness of alveoli decreases the ventilation decrease this leads to a decrease in lung volume first of all due to the reserve volume of inhalation and exhalation and in severe cases due to the tidal volume decreasing. The resulting disturbances in gas exchange quickly lead to severe respiratory failure and this type of breathing disorder we call it as a restrictive type or due to volume reduction. Uh, there are uh, several causes of uh, consolidation of lung tissue and uh, 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 you should uh, remember first cause is inflammation, exudating alveoli, pulmonary edema, transudating alveoli, ethylectasis, collapses of alveoli, tumor of uh, lungs, and also fibrosis. Uh, all these causes they can result in consolidation uh, uh, because of uh, losing uh, by alveoli um, airness. Uh, let's start uh, discussing one by one inflammation of lung peren uh, parenchyma leads to swelling of alveoli and filling the uh, cavities with inflammation. Uh, exudate, uh, exudate its inflammatory uh, fluid. Air from affected area of lungs is uh, <clears throat> forced out by exudate, the lung tissue become denser, you see. Inflammation of lung parenchyma in the vast majority of cases is caused by infection. May uh, uh, pneumonia develop because of viral infection, because of bacterial infection or fungi. Depending on pathogen, compaction of lung tissue may have a focal character or whole lobe can involve. Uh, small multiple lesions destroying lung tissue can merge forming one large lesion, for example in staphylococcus or in pneumococcus can um, involve a whole lobe damaging. To diagnose inflammation, or to diagnose a pneumonia uh, uh, of lung, it's necessary to identify the additional symptoms, accompanied symptoms, as, uh, like uh, symptoms of inflammatory syndrome, fever, leukocytosis, increasing ESR, etc., intoxication syndrome. Ethylectasis, uh, there are two types of ethylectasis, obstructive and uh, compressive. Let's uh, start from obstructive ethylectasis, develops when the lumen of bron bronchus is uh, closed by a foreign body when it's uh, aspirated a tumor or parasites. Obstructed bronchus, uh, bronchi does not ventilate the corresponding area of lungs and this part of lung collapses. It's, uh, and also, obstructive ethylectasis may develop uh, due to um, uh, compressing of bronchi by enlarged lymph nodes. It's interesting to note that with incomplete partial closure of bronchus, ethylectasis also develops due to the uh, redistribution of uh, the air flow in uh, favor of the normal bronchi. Most often, middle of low bronchus is compressed. 
Uh, compression in the electrolysis develops when the lung of part of it is compressed from the outside. The lungs are compressed by air, pneumothorax or fluid, hydrothorax that has accumulated in the pleural cavity. Uh, next is tumor. A tumor growing from the epithelium of lung alveoli replaces the lung parenchyma with the airless tumor mass. Lung tissue surrounding the tumor is also insufficiently ventilated due to the collapses of the alveoli adjacent to the tumor. Next is very important group, left ventricular heart failure. For this uh, pathology also may uh, mm, mm, this pathology, uh, pathology of uh, heart, uh, may res uh, may develop uh, because of uh, chronic heart disorders like um, coronary uh, heart disorders, uh, angina pectoris, or multiple uh, myocardial infarctions, or because of uh, um, cardiomyopathies or myocarditis. Uh, left ventricular heart failure leads to stagnation of blood in pulmonary veins um, because of increasing in diastolic volume and diastolic pressure and overflow uh, uh, of uh, them. The pressure rises in the veins through the capillary network. Plasma seeps into the interstitial because of increasing hydrostatic pressure and then into the alveoli, uh, accumulating in them in the form of a transudate and uh, liquid displays the air. Here, liquid, uh, liquid or transudate displays the air and uh, lung tissue become to consolidate. Clinically, uh, it should be understood that clinical manifestation of lung tissue consolidation syndrome largely depends on first, size of the pathological focus, second, depth of uh, its occurrence uh, in the lung and the degree of compaction. Uh, for this reason, all symptoms can vary widely from the complete absence to a pronounced classic manifestation. Typical uh, complaint of patient with pulmonary compaction syndrome is shortness of breath. Patient breaths uh, shallowly and often there is no pulse, inhalation is equal to exhalation. Shortness of breath is a sense it's compensatory mechanism, a decrease in lung volume and uh, accordingly ventilation. The patient tries to compensate with the frequency of breath. A similar uh, condition can be stimulated, simulated by tightly bandaging the chest with a tower for a few minutes while exhaling. Shortness of breath is also an objective symptom. It can be often detected during examination of the patient. To clarify the degree of any shortness of breath, it's necessary to find out its relationship with physical activity. For example, at the beginning, a process or if uh, uh, pulmonary consolidation syndrome um, uh, damage only uh, uh, one small uh, small part of uh, lungs or has lobular damaging uh, physical uh, shortness of breath may be uh, appear only during physical exertion, during running, for example, uh, doing very high physical activity. Um, when um, pathological uh, process, when disease grow, grown, uh, we have appearing of uh, shortness of breath in mild physical exertion and mild physical activity and at the end of stage or when we have large pathological process uh, physical uh, sh or, sorry, shortness of breath may appear even um, at rest. Chest pain during breathing is not a symptom of damage of lung tissue. There are no sensitive nerve ending in the lungs and uh, or chest uh, mm, uh, Pain uh, may um, may be re as a representative of uh, involving of pleura or intercostal muscles. Uh, most in most cases, uh, when we have uh, pneumonia with subpleural location, uh, it may complicated by pleuritis, and uh, a patient may give us a complaint as a chest pain. 
On examination of patient cyanosis may be detected. Cyanosis sign of severe disturbance of gas exchange. It indicates decompensated respiratory failure. Carbon dioxide accumulates in the body. This leads to an increase the level of CO2 in blood and uh, blood darkens and many darkened capillaries in skin determine the uh, diffuse bluish uh, tint of the skin. Uh, since all organs and tissues are supplied with um, uh, oversaturated with carbon dioxide blood, cyanosis is best seen in places with thin skin and good blood supply on the cheeks, on the ear lobes and the tip of nose, on the fingers and other nails. In severe cases, the entire body appears cyanotic and since the tongue uh, lying in the center of body is also cyanotic. This gave um, uh, an additional name of this cyanosis diffuser central. Uh, it's a general accepted uh, accepted to uh, design it uh, uh, such cyanosis as a warm or diffuse central cyanosis. Examining the patient, you can see the leg of affected half of the chest in the act of breathing. These symptoms is more reliable detected with the help of palpation. Um, observing the movement of thumb of the hand tightly pressed against the chest in symmetrical areas, you can catch even a slight leg. Uh, the leg in act of breathing reflects a decrease in ventilation uh, of the affected area of the lungs. An extremely important symptom for the diagnosis of compaction of lung tissue is increase of vocal fremitus over the affected area. The vibration of a voice is transmitted to the chest wall much better uh, through the compacted lung compare the conduction of sound through the cotton wool and through a wooden block for example increased vibration can be felt by pressing your palm over the seal since normal vocal tremor or uh, um, a vocal fremitus depends on many factors uh, and accordingly individually its uh, amplification can only be detected in comparison with symmetrical area on the healthy side. With a decrease in the airiness of lung tissue over the affected area, percussion dullness is revealed. The percussion sound becomes quieter, shorter and higher. It's important to note that percussion changes appear only over large pathological uh, foci with the shallow location. Since the comparison of lung tissue, uh, compaction of lung tissue is often Com uh, combined with the decrease its elasticity and degree of tension, uh, sometimes a timpani shade of percussion sound may appear. With the help of topographic percussion, in some cases, it's possible to reveal a decrease in size of the lung, uh, um, atelectasis, fibrosis, limitation of mobility of the lower pulmonary edge, and uh, also um, main. Uh, Ascultation, ascultation sound. This is bronchial breathing. Uh, in these cases, for these cases, our uh, character uh, pathological bronchial breathing instead uh, of uh, physicular breathing. Normally, you know, in normal condition, uh, bronchial breathing uh, will be uh, heard. Uh, only on the um, bifurcation of trachea and main bronchitis region uh, in case of consolidation of lung tissue uh, we can uh, hear pathological bronchial breathing in the early stage of infectious inflammation or pneumonia uh, a situation is created in the alveoli when they just begin to fill with viscous exudate but still continue to ventilate uh, vesicular breathing becomes uh, weakened um, at the height of inspiration, uh, um, at, um, for example, uh, at the, on the top of inspiration, crepitation or crepitous sound appears, sound of the expansion of alveoli glued together by viscous exudate. Uh, crepitous rhythm led a sound of a uh, bundle of hair rubbing near the ear. In the later stages of inflammatory process, when the exudate of alveoli begin to dissolve, the alveoli begins to ventilate again. Bronchial breathing is replaced by weakened vesicular breathing and crepitation reappears more sonorous than at the beginning. Uh, that means Mm, uh, from the be at the beginning of uh, pneumonia will be uh, weakening of physical sound and uh, crepitation sound 
uh, on the um, middle stage of pneumonia will be a con consolidation of lung tissue and uh, bronchial sound appear sometimes plus rails and last stages of pneumonia again appears uh, crepitus and weakening of vesicular sound bronchophonia is an Ascultatory analog of uh, vocal fremitus, but more sensitive. Investigating whispered speech, it's possible to reveal its strengthening over the focus of compaction bronchopneumo. Bronchophonia is enhanced over the focus. Moreover, over the compacted uh, lung tissue, the conduction of voice is enhanced. Individuals' words, uh, words become uh, distinguished, distinguishable. Um, Criteria for the syndrome of consolidation of lung tissue. First, of course, this increasing vocal fremitus and bronchophonia, increasing uh, uh, respiratory uh, normal breathing, uh, like vesicular breathing, change into the bronchial breathing, and x ray changes. X ray of lung, t uh, lung into projection is the gold standard for diagnosis of compaction of lung tissue. And characteristics, radiographic sim characteristic symptom is a opacity in the uh, projection of affected area, and you see uh, the more ha harder tissue, the more opacity, and you see uh, here um, normal opacity of heart, heart is dense tissue, and also normally uh, lung should be air uh, um, tissue, and you see um, instead of uh, airs, uh, we have consolidation syndrome, again consolidation syndrome, this is opacity, again consolidation syndrome. Microscopy of sputum helps to clarify the nature of pathological process in lung tissue. A uh, uh, cast with sputum is not a sign of alveolar damage, but is often associated with them. Uh, microscopic examination of sputum is a uh, valuable method for identifying a specific pathogen in, infect uh, in infectious inflammation. Mm, we can clarify the mm, streptococcus or mm, uh, fungi, so staphylococcus, and also can uh, easily see uh, neutrophils, uh, typical cells if tumor occur. Uh, for the early diagnosis of developing respiratory failure, all patients with pulmonary compaction syndrome shown to determine the partial pressure of CO2 and O2. With the development of hypoxia in patients with polycytemic syndrome is formed, which is characterized by increasing the number of RBC, a high level of hemoglobin, low ESR, and increased blood viscosity. Uh, polycytemic syndrome uh, may develop because of um, because of increasing erythropoietin production uh, uh, from uh, kidney uh, as a response uh, to the hypoxia. Uh, in order to determine lung volumes, pyrography or spirometry uh, analogs are performed. Um, uh, you know, there are two uh, representers, um, parameters of spirometer test, uh, static group and dynamic groups and uh, in uh, mm, case of uh, pulmonary consolidation syndrome we have changing uh, um, at the beginning static parameters at the from the residual volumes and tidal volume and which parameters you see static parameters like um, uh, residual inspiratory uh, reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, sorry, residual volume, not expiratory reserve, inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume, and we have decreasing of vital capacity of uh, lungs. Uh, whereas uh, in uh, bronchial obstructive syndrome, mostly uh, we have damaging, decreasing of uh, dynamic, uh, uh, F, uh, dynamic parameters like uh, forced expiratory volume in one second and ratio of forced expiratory volume and um, uh, forced vital capacity. Uh, here in uh, consolidation of lung tissue we have decreasing vital capacity um, and total lung capacity because of decreasing inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume. I finished my lecture. Thank you my dears. I wish you strong health.